For this video, I'm going to be going over the difference in performance between Screaming Eagle slip-ons and Vanton Hines high output slip-ons. The chart you see here is the best run with the Screaming Eagle slip-ons, rendering 88 horsepower and 95 pounds of torque. This is the dyno chart with the Vantanine slip-ons making 89 horsepower and 100 foot-pounds of torque. Now I'm going to put up the charts comparing the two mufflers side by side. What we see here is the blue line which is the Screaming Eagle mufflers actually perform better below about 3300 RPMs and then the Vantanines actually perform better once you exceed that RPM range. What we see here is that below 3,500 RPM, the Screaming Eagle mufflers are actually producing more power, resulting in nearly 6 more horsepower. Now that we exceeded that 3,500 RPMs, we see that the Vance Hines are now starting to produce more power and carries that all the way up to above 5,000 RPM. Now that we reach 5,700 RPM, they are both producing almost identical horsepower, which now we'll compare the torque of both of these mufflers. Torque chart looks similar to the horsepower chart. Screaming Eagle better below 3,500 RPM. Phantom is performing better after that. Now we'll go over the numbers so we can see exactly how much of an impact the difference is. As we see, the Screaming Eagle mufflers produce nearly 11 pounds more torque below 3,500 RPM. And this is a difference that's actually noticeable while riding the motorcycle. Now we're at 4,100 RPMs, where we see the Vantanines outputs are putting out 5 more pounds of torque than the Screaming Eagles. While it's nice that it's making 100 pounds of torque, the loss of 11 foot-pounds of torque earlier in the RPM does drastically impact how the bike performs on the road. The baffles on these have been gutted, so I'm going to see if I can get another set of baffles and maybe run this test again. I also plan on acquiring some other mufflers to install on this bike as well, and we'll see what those do compared to each other. If there are other parts you would like to see me dyno on a Harley, like different slip-ons, airboxes, camshafts, let me know in the comment section and I'll see what I can do.